slow is not in the blood of Olympic sliding hopefuls. A tenth of a second could be first to tenth. Nick Cunningham. That'll keep you up at night. Two-time Olympic veteran Bob Sledder and first-time Olympic hopefuls. And being able to control something going that fast. Bob Sledding's Cody Baskew. It's a feeling like no other. And Skeleton's Savannah Graybill. Your steers are very quick and very precise. Are on the path to chasing their 2018 dreams, training for the Winter Olympics before winter actually gets here. That's a break. In Lake Placid, where the three train and live, they are limited to this. A concrete push track, essential to perfect starts and building strength. But for those who steer, it can be frustrating. It's nice to be able to have this push track so that we can we can get our pushing in. But as a driver, it's it's really it's really uh, minimal what we can do to train in the off season. You know, even though you've been doing all the right things during the summer, there's nothing to to function like ice until you get back on it. So in the warmer months, they break out the tapes, studying how other teams race down tracks. We're, we're seeing where are they coming into that corner and where are they kind of doing most of their work. Sliding is both a mental and physical sport. You know, there's a lot of things going on and you have to, to make the right steers, otherwise some bad things can happen. Staying ahead of the competition is always the goal. Anytime there's a, a sled on the track, there's cameras of every nation in every corner, trying to pick up just that one, maybe one cue to, to make their team go faster. And when the ice does come, they don't hit it blindly. We know every inch of that track, and, and we know it very intimately. We are, we are walking it, we're, we're studying it, we're, we're talking to other teams about it. But until the tracks freeze over, these athletes will keep hitting the books and hitting the concrete as they push toward their Olympic goals. In Lake Placid, Vanessa Mishania, NBC5.